What's up and welcome to Rad Potential and welcome to the next BMW project on the channel. This here is my 1983 BMW 320. It's an E21 chassis and uh, we've had this car for quite some time as you might have seen it sitting over on this side of the garage behind while we worked on other projects. Um, we actually got this car um, while we were working on getting our 2002 running as you can see out here. It runs, drives, and works now. That's Marge. She's great. However, this E21 was sitting on the side of the road like a mile and a half down from our house at a local shop. It had been sitting there for months, maybe a year. Um, I'd just been driving back and forth to work, seeing it every single day. And I said, one day I'm going to stop in and uh, see how much they want for it. And then we started working on the 2002 and I thought, hey, we could use an extra M10 around. I have no idea what the condition of the one in the 2002 is. So I was getting ready to call them. I took a picture of the sign, um, the phone number on the, on the shop, and I was gonna give them a call. And then the next day I drove by and there was a for sale sign on it. So sure enough, I stopped in, called them, talked to the owner. He wanted something crazy, like four grand for it. It had been non-running and parked for a couple of years. Uh, I said, thanks, but no thanks. A um, couple months later passed by, he obviously didn't sell it. He reached back out, asked me if I was still interested, and I offered him 600 bucks, and he took it. So we brought it home. Didn't end up using really anything off of it for the 2002, so it just sat there. And as I walked by it over and over again, I just got more excited to just work on it and let it become its own project and not just tear it apart for pieces. This car was destined for the scrapper. Nobody was gonna do anything with it. It's got a little bit of crust on it, some some rust on the hood, rust on the fender, and you can see someone in their wise choices painted over some of the bubbling rust with brown paint instead of white or literally any other color, but it is what it is. So let me give you a little walk around. It is basically stock, except for it's sitting on the 2002 Steelies because I stole the BBSs for the 2002. Um, otherwise, it is a stock and pretty much complete car. Um, nothing fancy on the inside. You can see. Seats are pretty tore up and unbolted down. This is the condition I received it in. Um, you got the air box in the back, clutch fan, driver seats absolutely tore up. Glove box doesn't stay closed, but it does have a five speed and a full M10 under the hood. Let me see if I can get this open. And as you can see, a pretty complete engine bay. As you can see, or as I mentioned, the air box is in the trunk. Um, but that's it. We've got ourselves a pretty complete um, E21. And as I sat here and looked at this thing in the garage, I thought to myself, you know what? I really like this chassis, let's do something with it. So I think the plans are to just, as Eric's doing with the blue RX-7, we're gonna document what it takes to bring this thing back to life. I know it needs brakes, it has non-functioning brakes, push the pedal goes all the way to the floor, I don't even think there's fluid in it. Um, refresh everything that we need to refresh in here. As you can see, I'm, I'm sure most of these hoses are cracked. And, and crappy and need replaced. Um, like I said, this thing's been sitting for, I think the previous owner said three years, but who knows what it really was. And we're gonna go through everything and see what we have to do to get it up and running. And I think the end goal for it is just gonna be a fun budget street ripper. Um, I don't have any grand plans for it other than to let it be a, uh, learning intro to the chassis for me. I've never owned uh, an E21 before. Like I said, we've messed with the 2002. I've had a handful of E30s before, but never owned an E21. And I've uh, grown pretty fond of them just looking at this one in the driveway. And especially fond of them since E30s are kind of out of budget price range now. Um, I think this is gonna be the next best thing for a cheap beater BMW. I mean, this was otherwise probably gonna go to the scrapper, so I'm not gonna feel bad about, I don't know, hey, one day I wanna lower it, let's cut the springs and see how it works. I don't know, we're just gonna 
get creative, find solutions to uh, making this thing a good driver while spending as little amount of money as possible. Um, and you're welcome to come along for the ride. So if you have any requests for things we should do to this E21, um, projects you wanna see highlighted, let me know. I don't have any specific um, things I'm thinking about now as far as what the car is gonna look like. I might rip out most of this interior because it's kind of junk. Uh, maybe put my E36 seats in here or find another set of classic looking seats that'll sit and give a little more support. Um, see how the back and the carpet cleans up. Otherwise, you might just take it out and leave the carpet, hopefully. Um, I don't plan on putting anyone in the back of this car um, other than maybe the dog. So maybe we'll leave the seat in there. So, like I said, if you have any things you want to see as we dig into the E21, let me know. Um, I think we'll first start off in the engine bay and see if we can get this thing to fire up and start running. Um, I don't know what it's going to take. Probably running through this K-Jet system that I have no idea how it works right now so we can learn together. Um, if that doesn't work, I'd really love to put some side draft webbers on this thing and carburate it and make it sound awesome. Um, cause really I just want this to be an experienced car. It's not going to be fast. I'd like to keep the M10 in it. Um, carbs would be sick. Lowered a little bit would be sweet. Some nice, like sticky, small tires, like a 205 would be a ton of grip on this thing. I don't know, maybe not even that much to keep it playful. And since it is a little rough around the edges, as I pointed out, uh, we'll, we'll clean that up and at least cover it up with some some white paint so it's not brown. But the idea of this car will be to not care about it. So if I find a dirt road I wanna tear down and just shred, then do it. Or if there's any while, I don't know what I'm getting to, but just the, the point is it's gonna be the cheap budget ripper whenever we wanna go up and tear it up and not really care about it, maybe whip it around the yard at the Rad Ranch. That's what we'll do. Um, so welcome to the E21 project. Um, I don't think I said it, but we've affectionately named him uh, Eugene. All the cars around here get names for some reason. We like to do it that way. So welcome Eugene to the Rad, the Rad family and uh, hope you're excited as I am for this project because I think it's going to be a fun one. Uh, thanks for following along. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one and uh, keep it rad.